Hello there fellow Namekians and welcome back to my channel today. Good morning! It is August 31st which means it is my birthday. So I figured maybe I would do a fun little birthday vlog. I don't have much going on today but I thought it'd be a good chill day to film and yeah I did already do most of my birthday celebrating um, with my cousin Emily. Her birthday's August 24th. Mine's August 31st. So some years we'll kind of do like shared birthday parties. And this past Sunday, we did a very fun shared birthday party. Um, we did a Stranger Things slash 80s theme this year since that is our obsession. I mean, like, look at my shirt. I have a Jonathan Argyle shirt. <laughs> it was really fun. I thought about vlogging it. I decided not to, but I'll share some pictures in this video. It was so much fun. Some of us dressed up in cosplay, some of us just dressed up in the 80s. It was so fun. We played some little 80s music. We played Jackbox for a while, which was always a hoot. It was it was so much fun. It was really hot that day. So most of us only lasted in our cosplay for like an hour, hour and a half to get some pictures and videos before we changed. It was so hot even though we were inside. Ooh, it's been very hot this year in Tennessee and I'm sure most places I'm very ready for the fall um, But yeah, we had some surfer boy pizzas. We made some of the stranger things chicken nuggies We had some drinks alcohol not alcohol chips so many good snacks. It was a very very fun time I had a great time. What a wonderful birthday party this year But yeah, so today is my actual birthday. I just turned 27. I'm I think today is going to be so fun. Um, I don't have too many plans going on. The main plans I have is seeing Lord of the Rings Return of the King at 7 p.m. at the movie theaters tonight. My theaters around here, we're playing Lord of the Rings um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday in honor of the Rings of Power coming out this Friday, which I'm so excited. If you know me, you know my absolute favorite movies of all time is Lord of the Rings. I am so pumped to go to that tonight. But yeah, I thought I would just take you along with me. Y'all can just spend the day with me doing all the random things I do today. <laughs> Shy guy. Sha, you're a little baby. Hello, hello. First things first, I fed the puppies and let them out this morning, so I just now let them back in. Hello, sweet angel. Hello, other sweet angel. You can knock in the kitchen, my friend. <laughs> Hi, baby. Honestly, the next thing I really need, need to do is take a shower make me feel better. Also, look at these cute little things I have in my bathroom. I love Animal Crossing. Um, Grayson's uncle got these for us for Christmas last year and we think they're so cute. He Back upstairs I go. Woo! Turn some light on. Hi, Edo. Just finished my shower. I feel much better. Pretty much just changed back into other pajamas. I just got this shirt off Macari. I missed it back in the day when it was at Forever 21. Had to have it. It was like five bucks on Macari. And my Princess Peach Zoe pants. Because we love Peach. But yeah. Just put PJs back on because I have no plans to go out until 2.30 when I have to take Shire to the vet. So yeah. Ignore how messy it is but my next step of action is these dishes over here. Yay for messy kitchen. I really want to do some dishes because seeing a sink full of dishes gives me anxiety. <laughs> Alrighty, dishes are done. I promise they're done. I'm not gonna show y'all because my kitchen is still semi a mess right now. <laughs> but dishes are done. I think right now I'm just gonna chill here in the living room for a little bit. My phone had a couple notifications after I was doing um, dishes. I'm just gonna Stay on my phone for a minute. The pups are chilling with me. Hello, Shire. Hello, Hedo. <laughs> the pillow is forever on the floor. Like, no matter how many times we put it back on the couch, the dogs kick it down. So, <laughs> my kitchen may be dirty, but I'm bringing you in here with me anyway. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to make myself some tea. Yesterday. I set this tea out for myself to drink before work. Some oolong tea. I put it in the mug. I got my tea bag in there. I had my water heated up. And I completely forgot about it. So this has been sitting here. So I'm finally going to make some tea. <laughs> I'm going to get some water in there. So we're just going to get it all hot and heated. 
Um, it's not the most organized, but this is mine and Grayson's little tea coffee section. So we got the electric kettle, his coffee maker, and his little protein stuff. Um, little Splenda's, like Splenda, I guess, type for his coffee. And then I have a little like tea section here. Now below here in this cabinet, it's really dirty, so I'm not gonna, not dirty. It's not dirty. It's an organized. Let's put it that way. It is very unorganized. That is where a lot of my tea is in that cabinet. But I have some up here in this little tea thing that Emily told me about at, where was that? Home Goods. And I went and bought it and I'm so happy to have it. But yeah, I'm going to make some oolong tea finally. Get my water heated up. It's only 9 o'clock, but I'm already starving. So I'm debating on making something to eat. But I really wanted to make some of this. Stuff I got at Trader Joe's the other day, so I might hold off on eating just a little bit. Um, yeah, see, I am so hungry, <laughs> um, but yeah, I think I mentioned this earlier. Um, let's Grayson's at work today, actually, so he doesn't get off till three, so that's why I'm kind of just like hanging out, doing whatever. Our roommate, slash one of my best friends, Mina, is home, but she works weird hours as in like half the time she gets off work around like one sometimes she'll get off at 3 a.m so she sleeps in so i do my best to try and not be too loud near her door where her bedroom is so that she can get some good sleep my kitchen's a little dirty so let's just ignore that a little bit i keep saying dirty it's mostly a lot of unorganized stuff there's a difference but there's my dishes i told you i finished them they're drying Right there is just a bunch of alcohol slash Grayson mead. Yes, Grayson Baru's mead sometimes just for us and our twins and it's very nice and very delicious. Good old Trader Joe items. <laughs> Get this by the way, one of our Amazon items came in a little Rings of Power box and I think this is so cool. I think that's so neat. I love rings. I lo well, I can't say I love Rings of Power yet, but I'm very excited for Rings of Power. So excited. I might try on one of my Ren Fair outfits. So, um, our next like Ren Fair slash Medieval Fair is coming up very soon in October, the first three weekends in October, and we're going all three Sundays and hopefully one of those Saturdays. And I was putting a little outfit together. I got this cute little mushroom crown. Let me show it to you. I got this cute little mushroom crown off Etsy and some like orange mushroom earrings. So I wanted to put a little like mushroom outfit together. Let me grab the little mushroom crown, show it to you. It's real dark, so we'll just walk back in here. But look at this cute little like orange mushroom crown I got. I really want to do a little fall look with it. So I got some stuff. So I might try, finally try on the clothes to make sure they fit properly. Grayson bought the shirt I really wanted to wear. And I got the skirt in the mail yesterday. So now I guess it's time to see if they will flow well together. I'm kind of using my camera as a mirror because my one full body camera mirror. Wow, my one full body mirror is downstairs. Definitely going down there. But I think this is going to work. It's really cute. I was worried about the sizing, but I'm glad it works. Um, this I already had for a potpourri cosplay from Harvest Moon. So that was convenient. I think I need to do a little bit of retying on these, maybe. I don't know, but I think this will work. I really like this shirt. I was really excited for this. Grayson went ahead and bought this one for me. Uh, the other day and so I'm very thankful for that and I think this will work it's a little long on me so I need to find some maybe like boots to wear but I think it's cute it's gonna go really nicely with my mushroom crown I'm thinking about wearing possible wig that day I'm going to add some stuff to it like this isn't going to be the whole outfit I'm thinking about like buying little um tiny mushrooms and looping them through here um i'm going to have a belt on and there's going to be things on the belt we're going to make this do because i need a little bit more orange in this outfit i didn't put the mushroom earrings on because they're literally just orange mushrooms slightly bigger than these very cute but i'm very excited for this outfit yay the dress wow skirt itself needs to be ironed a little but other than that like i think this is going to work out really Really well I'm very excited for the medieval fair in October and I'm so glad it's like three whole weekends Rin fairs slash medieval fairs or whatever are my happy place right now so like very excited for it very excited 
also i don't know if i ever showed y'all but this is mine and grayson's rin fair box i love it it kind of stays just near our back door but it has all of our accessories for the rin fair and it, accessories clothes all that stuff that way it's all in one area we keep it in this really nice chest that grayson got for us it is tea time pour some hot water in here Boop, 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 boop. Not all because it's really hot and I won't be able to drink it. Because after I get a little bit of hot water poured in my tea mugs, which there, yeah, that's enough. I like to add a little bit of water too. And this is the water I've been using. It's moon water. Because when I add a little bit of like room temperature water to my hot water, I can pretty much drink it right away, which is my intention. I don't like to wait a while to wait to drink it. Mmm, long tea. I think I'm just gonna chill here for a little bit, probably read some of my book. I've been reading the Ice Planet Barbarians book, um, maybe a hundred pages in. I've been enjoying it, so I might either read, watch some Dragon Ball Z. I have been re-watching the Dragon Ball series. I finished Dragon Ball. I'm on Dragon Ball Z. Um, right now on Dragon Ball Z, I am in the Cell Saga, which is Cell is my, one of my favorite villains in Dragon Ball Z, and um, I'm on that, I'm on the hyperbolic time chamber part, so I'm like pretty hefty into it, but I mean, as y'all know, I'm obsessed with Dragon Ball Z. If you've been around, if you've been my friend or on this channel for a while, you know Dragon Ball Z is one of my all-time favorite shows. I grew up on it, love it. It's just when it comes to like Dragon Ball Z, GT, Super, I kind of just re-watch my favorite sagas. Like, I've watched them all the way through a couple of times at least, but as like a, for a long time i've just been watching re-watching my favorite episodes and sagas and so i've decided to rewatch it from beginning to end all the way through again instead of skipping around like i always do so that's what i'm doing right now so i'm gonna either read or play some play wow or watch some dragon ball z we'll see i totally forgot that my original plan today was because i'm seeing return of the king in theaters tonight i'm going to watch fellowship of the ring and the two towers so that's what i'm gonna do or at least i'll have it on in the background with whatever else i do today because obviously i've watched these movies so many times like i rewatch them so many times a month but uh yeah so i'm going to put the fellowship of the ring on and of course we only watch the extended editions in this house so let's go also the one we're watching tonight is the extended edition of a uh, return of the king of course but i'm really excited for anyone that didn't know, I did not grow up on Lord of the Rings. I didn't watch it growing up. I didn't really watch it until I was like, I think 16 or 17. Like the first movies I ever watched was The Hobbit. I watched the first Hobbit movie in theaters. I watched all the Hobbit movie in movies in theaters, but I watched The Hobbit first, like the first movie before I watched all three Lord of the Rings movies. And I fell in love with the series when I was like 16, 17. And it's been my favorite since and I can't tell you how many times I have rewatched it but yeah I didn't grow up with it so I've not seen any of the original Lord of the Rings in theaters which is why I'm so excited to see Return of the King on my birthday in theaters look at these little cuties but um but Shire it's so hard to see you <laughs> oh my cutie pies fellowship of the ring it's time for another cup of tea so I'm heating up some more water this one is loose leaf tea and it's a tea that has became one of my favorites. I got it at the Georgia Renaissance Fair. It, this one's called the Witchy Women Tea. It was a whole place that had like so much tea. And I was so overwhelmed because there were so many options. But I went with this one. And honestly, it is so good. Um, I believe the place that it was called was Earth Elements. They sold a lot of different kind of things. Like I got this tea from them. And they had so many different types of tea. I also got some rosemary from them because I really thought about making some rosemary bread but they had a lot of things like this like things you could forge and like things like that I thought it was really cool and I really hope they're there next year because I think it's so neat like it says that whoop, whoop, it that the flavors on this is an enchanted blend of nettle lemon pill raspberry leaf linden flower Vitex, cinnamon, rose petals, lemon verbena, and stevia. Um, but it is delicious. <laughs> I really like it. Witchy women tea. Oh, look, there's their um, whoop, 
email. I'm sure you could like email them about probably buying some more of their stuff. Also YouTube, I don't know if I've ever showed y'all my little Lord of the Rings collection over here on my shelf in the living room. It's still not like all of my Lord of the Rings stuff, but it's a good chunk of it. So like, I mean, well, this isn't even up here yet. Emily got me that for my birthday. I need to do some rearranging so I can put it up here. But I thought I'd show y'all a little bit. So I got like a ton of the books. Like this is The Hobbit right here. This is, what is that one? I can't remember. Oh yeah, it's the illustrated copy of The Two Towers back there. I have a lot of copies of the books plus other like Tolkien books, like some here. I almost have the whole collection of these right here that look like old school like romantic novels i'm only missing um the fellowship of the ring and to be honest most of my stuff comes from secondhand shopping so like places like mckay's and things but yeah here's this little section the movie section and then up here a lot of the stuff has also came from mckay's this is mostly figures <laughs> grayson's glasses i've got some two pop figures Let's see here. Pippin came from McKay's. Gimli came from Emily for my birthday last year. That little Frodo was from McKay's. This little golem is from McKay's. This golem right here in box is from The Great Escape in Nashville. And then this little um, plate here of the two towers is also from The Great Escape in Nashville. My friend Jelly actually found this room when we were going shopping and pointed it out to me. And thank you so much for that, Jelly. And then all of these figures right here in the front came from McKay's, love them. And then this Aragorn with his horse actually came from The Great Escape in Nashville as well. I love this figure. This was an amazing find, like only $30. I was very taken aback. But yeah, most of my stuff came from secondhand shopping aside from a few things here and there, like what is it, the 4K movies? Amazon, obviously. Um, the Lord of the Rings illustrated copy book right here. Amazon, but almost everything else I believe came from secondhand shopping. If you actually look down the hallway, we have the Rohan flag in front of our office. Love it. Love it. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then if you go over here, I it so I can show you all my collection. <laughs> I'm nearing the end of the Fellowship of the Ring. Um, I got this at the Medieval Fair. No, Medieval Fair? Pirate Fair in Harriman, Tennessee, and it's a woodwork of the map of the Lord of the Rings and I thought a great spot for it would be over here above our fireplace. We usually will make fires around winter time but yeah I love this so much and I really hope that place is going to be there at the medieval fair because it's in the same place like Liz. <laughs> the babies are still on the couch. Look at them. Oh my god, it's so cute. I feel really dumb because a second ago, I just told y'all I'm nearing the end of the fellowship. I'm not nearing the end of the fellowship. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think I just got myself confused because after they do um, this meeting, it ends part one of the movie, and that's what I was thinking in my head. We're nearing the end of part one of the fellowship. <laughs> so it is about to be noon i'm going to go ahead and slowly start getting ready for my day like putting makeup on going ahead and putting a little bit of clothes on maybe not the outfit i'm wearing tonight yet but later um put that outfit on but i do have to take shire to the vet at 2 30 which is going to be coming up here very soon so i'm gonna go ahead and start getting ready might as well excuse the mess on my bed but look at this shy guy oh my god look shire shire <laughs> anyway, I this is the sweater I'm going to be wearing tonight. I'm super excited. I'm going to pair it with these bag shorts underneath. But I also have this brown skirt I'll be wearing with it. I'll show you all the whole fit later. I'm thinking about wearing my Lagerth wig from Vikings because it's kind of like an elfy looking wig. So, But I'm really excited to wear this sweater. I just bought it like last week. Or was it last week? I don't know. Two weeks ago maybe? Something like that. And box lunch. I bought it the day I went to go see the dra the new Dragon Ball Super superhero movie. But I love this sweater. <laughs> Shire. Shire. <laughs> but yeah, very excited to wear it tonight. And it's a movie theater, so with a sweater, I'll be nice and comfy. And Grayson also helped me pick out the outfit, so thank you, Grayson. I was sending him pictures 
I was like, which looks better? Which bottoms look better with this skirt? <laughs> I myself am dressed up for the rest of the day um, for when I have to go out later and take Shire to the vet. I got my overalls on. I found this shirt at the thrift store I think a week or two ago. Love it. Love that color. But anyway, <laughs> I didn't want to wear that sweater all day because it's still the summer so it's still hot out. So I'm just going to wear it when we leave tonight. That's why this is the other outfit. Until then. It's about 15 till 1 which means I think it's lunchtime. I had a little snack earlier. I had some like corn and flaxseed um, tortilla chips with some tomato and basil hummus, which was delicious. But I think I need some actual food now, so time to make lunch. And I know what I want to make. Let me grab it real quick. Let me make sure I'm grabbing the one I do want to eat. Yeah, I want to do this one. Okay. I'm gonna do butternut squash ravioli with some of the tomato basil pasta sauce. Made this before, it's delicious. These are some jalapenos I grew. I really need to use them, so I might cut up one to put in with this. Mm -hmm. My food is ready and I'm so excited to eat it. This dog does not know he is going to the vet. He's acting so excited for something he's going to hate when we get there. Whoop! Shy here, honey. You are pulling me. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Good boy. Stay seated, please. No, sir. Thank you. Uh-uh. Thank you, sir. Let's go. Come on. I stated a second ago on the way to the vet now to get Shire's updated shots done. So, you ready? You don't know where you're going. All right, we just got done with the vet. Everything turned out really well. Shire has lost some weight, which is why it was supposed to happen. We had him on a little bit of a diet because the last time he came here, they told me that he couldn't gain like a single pound more or he would be a little too much overweight. So we had him on a diet and now he's lost weight and now he's at the perfect size he's supposed to be. We pretty much were just doing his yearly checkup, his yearly shots. They said that he is looking very healthy. His heart sounds good, ears, teeth, eyes, all that stuff looks good. And I'm so happy and proud of him. He did so good even though he barked at very many dogs. He did good. I think he's happy to go home. I'm happy to take him back home. You good boy? Are you just staring at other people? You see other puppies. We'll get you home. We'll get you home. So earlier in this video, I showed y'all some of the jalapenos I've grown. So I kind of figured I'd show you where my little like jalapeno stock stem is. So let's go over here. So I planted this stock early in the summer. It broke at one point. So to be honest, I thought it was done. But what is it, like two weeks ago when I came out here, I saw a bunch of red and I was like, were those jalapenos? So I have some more right now growing. Here we go, look, they're coming along. I'm gonna pick these soon because I kind of want them green. The red ones are good, but they are very spicy. But yeah, my little jalapenos I love them I also planted a lavender bush this year but because I just planted it this year I knew it wouldn't be kind of growing a whole lot until next year but it's so freaking hot this year that it's kind of just like ruined a lot of it but I'm hoping next year we can get some good lavender and then this one was already here when we moved in but I'm pretty sure it is some rosemary because that's what it smells like go Hito go <laughs> I think it's time for a little beverage. So we have these so so sake plus soda drinks that my sweet friend Sasha got for us. And I like them. They're pretty good. Sasha suggested mixing them with something a little sweet. Because if you drink it regularly from the can, I, I think it tastes good. But the best way to describe it is it's a cold version of like a hot sake that you get at most Asian restaurants. So there's not too much of a sweet flavor to it, but I'm gonna make it sweet a little bit myself. So, alrighty, we're gonna use cute old Hello Kitty. That was for my tea earlier, let's push that aside. So, I'll pour you in here. 
a little sake cup. Boop, 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 boop. And Grayson opened some apple cider the other day, I think. Sparkling cider. We're gonna mix it. Put just a little in there. Make me a little drinky beverage. I came into my office real quick because while I was at the vet, I got a notification from Steam that a game I really have been wanting is on sale. So I'm kind of going to buy it. I'm, I've been wanting this game. Grayson got it at one point and he really enjoyed it. And now I'm going to get it. Let me show it to y'all. First of all, I've been, I don't know if I've ever showed y'all my monitor backgrounds, but I love them. Adorable, cute. Babies are enjoying themselves. Anyway, the game I have been a wanting is Tavern Master. I don't know if any of y'all have played it, but it's pretty much it's all about building and managing your own little medieval tavern. That's right up my alley. It's comfy, cozy, and it's on sale for. $10.49. The original game itself is only $15, which is not that bad, but I've been putting off buying it for so long, and then I got the notification today on my birthday that it's on sale, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> it is officially time to install the game. Yay, I'm so excited. I get to play you later. It's cozy game time for a little bit, so I'm gonna sit here and enjoy my game for a little bit. I'm very excited. There's a reason I don't like to drink in cups without lids. I was just too into my game, I guess. I don't know, I wasn't paying attention. And spilled almost my entire cup of my sake juice thing. There's a tiny bit left. But I spilled it all over my setup, like over here. Like I got it on Zorro, I got it on the table, and then the floor, which luckily I had a towel in here already from where I was painting. So... I cleaned most of it, but still spilled it. That is, that's my luck. <laughs> my boss and his wife made me a cake. Look how cute. They've made me a little birthday cake the past like two years, and I think that's just so sweet of them. And gosh, she makes beautiful cakes. Look at it. Happy birthday, Hallie. This is so sweet, and her cakes always taste so delicious. Hello y'all, it's actually the next day now, September 1st. I had to apologize in advance that I did bring my camera with me yesterday when Grayson and I went out, but I ended up just leaving it in the car and not filming anything, so my apologies. I do have a bunch of pictures and videos that I can share with y'all, of course, in this little area. But yeah, I'll share a bunch of pictures and stuff that we took. It was so much fun. We left a little bit early to go get some Asian food. It was delicious. I had tempura and then like some steak teriyaki. It was so good. Um, but we did that before the movie. And then of course we went to the movie. We watched Return of the King on the big screen. That was absolutely beautiful. Getting to watch a Lord of the Rings movie on my birthday was just so amazing. I'm so glad I got to experience that. But I loved watching Return of the King. Loved watching Eowyn's big scene on screen. Of course I cried at the end like I do every time I rewatch the movie even though I've watched them so many times so good it's just so nice to sit in a big theater surrounded by people that enjoy the same thing you do it's amazing and when the movie ended everyone clapped it was it was great I absolutely loved it and now tonight at I think it's 9 p.m. my time Rings of Power comes out so I'm not gonna get much sleep tonight because I'm gonna watch those first two episodes so I'll probably go to bed late and I do work the devil tomorrow on Friday, so that's going to be fun, but it's going to be worth it. <laughs> but yeah, thank y'all so much for spending my birthday with me. I had a very good and relaxing day. It was very, very nice. And I don't know what the next video will consist of, but I'll see y'all there when I make it. <laughs> Bye, guys.